Tutorial. Hello and welcome to the new video. In today's video, I will show you how to install Windows 11 on unsupported CPUs. Uh, what do I mean by that? You already clicked on this video and you probably know what am I talking about, but uh, <clears throat> when you go to PC Health Check app that you can find on Microsoft website and click Check Now in Introducing Windows 11, you are going to see this message. So, this PC doesn't currently meet Windows 11 system requirements. The processor isn't currently supported for Windows 11. There is a way to skip this message by changing some registry values. What do we want to do? We want to close this PC health check. So, first step is to download Windows 11 ISO file or ISO file. You want to go on official Microsoft website or in Google type Windows 11 download ISO and you will be prompted with this page. So, we don't want Windows 11 installation assistant. We don't want to create Windows 11 installation media. We want to download Windows 11 disk image ISO or ISO file. So in here, we are going to select download and click Windows 11 and click download. Now in here, it will be prompt us with select the product language. We are going to choose English international or whatever you want and click confirm. In here, we have Windows 11 English International and we have a link for downloading 64-bit Windows 11 ISO. In here, we, <coughs> we want to click 64-bit download. Now, uh, some of you will be prompted with this Save As window. If you have that option enabled in your web browser, uh, you want to click Save, of course. Uh, and if you don't have this window save as, uh, you probably have automatically downloading files from servers, web browsers to your downloads folder or somewhere else, wherever you have put it. Uh, I already have Windows 11 English International 64-bit ISO file, so I'm going to click cancel. If you don't have this, again, click save. After that, you of course wait your files to download. When the ISO image is downloaded, you want to go in start and type registry. In here, or you want to press Windows key plus R, letter R, and type get it and click enter. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Of course, you want to click yes. Now, in here, this is registry editor. All of you guys are familiar already with that. We are going to go into XT local machine. We are going to go in system and now go into the setup. Uh, in here, you will probably have most setup. If you don't have, let me just delete this one and in here, click on the setup, right click, new key, and type MO with a capital M and setup. And you want to click enter. When you have created new key in your registry, in here, you want to right click in this blank page, click new, or just drag the mouse to new, and click the board. 32-bit value. Now, you want to name this D board registry. Uh, you want to name it allow upgrades with unsupported TPM or CPU. So, 
allow upgrades with unsupported TPM or CPU, where A is capital, U is capital, W is capital, U again is capital, TPM or capital, O capital, R lowercase and CPU all capital. It is important to be like that. <clears throat> now you want to right click on allow upgrades and click modify. So in here you want to give value data number one hexadecimal and click OK. So by this way you uh, allow your registry and your windows and not to go into details but uh, by this way you have allowed your Windows 10 to skip the mistake for unsupported processor. All right and also TPM. If you don't have TPM enabled by your motherboard manufacturer. So in here we're going to close this, go to your downloads folder, right click on ISO image, go to open with and go with Windows Explorer. So in here, this is all files necessary to install Windows 11. You want to run setup. Double click. You want to allow this app to make change to your device. You want to click yes. And now Windows 11 setup, install Windows 11, setup will go online to get updates, drivers and optional features. These updates will help the installation go smoothly and can include important fixes, update device drivers and additional files which are not on the installation media or ISO. So it means in here. All right, you want to click next. So getting updates, checking for updates. You need to be patient when you are doing an upgrade to Windows 11. It uh, knows to be pretty slow. So the updates are installed, but Windows 11 setup needs to restart for them to work. After it restarts, we'll keep going from where we left off. Now it will start again. So checking your PC. All right, so applicable notices and license terms. You can read all this, but who is going to read all this? Just go and click accept. Making sure you're getting updates and so on and so on. Just be patient, wait, smoke a cigarette, drink a beer, or if you are run younger, bring some soda or tea and uh, wait for this to finish. So now, what needs your attention? The following things need your attention to continue the installation and keep your Windows settings, personal files and apps. So this PC doesn't meet the minimum system requirements for running, running Windows 11, these requirements are blah, 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 blah. But since you have <coughs> updated your registry files, you can click accept and continue installation. So install Windows 11 Pro, keep personal files and apps. You won't be able to use your PC during installation and blah, 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 blah. But in here you want to click install. And now installing Windows 11. Your PC will restart several times. Now I'm going to stop recording with OBS player. Uh, stop recording and move the phone for you to see screen. All right, so I needed to change the angle. I don't have external capture card, so I need to record this with my phone. I hope you don't mind. We are going through whole process of installation Windows 11.
All right, so working on updates 3%. This means with these textures and graphics that the Windows 11 is, let's say, installed. Since I started recording the video, so around, let's say, one hour for me to have Windows 11 upgraded from Windows 10. All right, we have installed Windows 11. We are almost there after one hour. And we are in Windows 11. Look at it. And now to sign out from this video. So I hope you have enjoyed in this video. I hope you have upgraded your Windows 10 to Windows 11. Uh, be sure to leave a like, comment down below what you think about new Windows. Subscribe on the channel if you want to, of course, and if you want to donate, there is a donate link down there in the description. And yeah, until the next time, goodbye.